Hey, this is Steve with RV Recycle. Today we're going to install a dual cigarette lighter USB port combination. Stay tuned. And why in the heck do I need the cigarette lighter plug in the bedroom? Well, because I have a DC charger for my computer. We took the TV out. Now we use this as a computer when we want to watch something. And I don't want to have to turn the inverter on every time I want to watch TV. So the plan is to tap into this cigarette lighter plug, run some power, following the same course with the wire, through that hole where the water hose is going, and then up. And they'll come out there where those two USB plugs are. And that's where we're gonna put the dual combo. I'll just use the existing power on the USB, but I do need heavier power for the cigarette lighter plug. This is the package I got from Amazon. It contains everything you need other than instructions. So if you need instructions, you're out of luck if you're expecting them to come with this kit. So 12 volt, a dual USB, but I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna use the existing, which is also a dual. Um, and the bracket, the thing I like about this bracket is, look ma, it's a match. It's got some wire leads. So we'll use these welding up splicing into those and uh, screws as well as some end connectors. There's just not enough room to get to the prize going through here. Uh, even if your arm was long enough, the space, the gap between those unfinished one buys and the finished wall is too narrow to get a, a little skinny hand like mine through there and manipulate things. So, as much as I feared, I'm gonna have to come into this closet and take out this side panel. Now, fortunately, I've taken the panels out of this cabinet before, so I know that I have to take the vent pipe protector out of the corner and then that side panel, unscrew it, and it will come out. The only other thing I'll need to do to get it out is to push the floor up just a tad, the floor of the cabinet, and then I'll have all the access I need. First thing you wanna do anytime you're working in the bathroom is cover the shower drain with duct tape. So we've done that. And as things go, not only did I have to remove that left side panel, I had to also take out this back panel once again because the prize is right there. It is hard to see even with the light shining on it. It's still not going to be real easy. Just in case it's not obvious, you will have to drill a hole. Now I'm choosing to drill over here on this side and I did go into the cavity and checked to make sure that there was enough room for the wires. Remember, the wires I'm gonna be using have these connectors on them and I'm gonna uh, splice into the other 12 volt socket down below. So we will have to drill a hole. So I'm gonna mark, mark it and drill it. And I'm drilling using a hole saw this is one and a half inch if i had a regular twist bit i would use that because it'd be a lot easier i think to hit center but we're going to go with what we got originally i was going to tap into one of the existing 12 volt sockets but that was proving to be more challenging than it should be so what i did instead was so coming from the fuse box i went through the wall and connected to 12 volt plug. The 
double USB. I just used the existing wire that was in it from the factory. The only thing that's new and different is I have this plug directly wired into the fuse box, so it has its own fuse. And Steve, why did you do that? Well, the power supply that I use for my computer draws 65 watts, and I wanted to make sure that I had a solid direct connection with nothing else connected to it. Well, that's it for today. Hope you got something out of this. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to seeing you again soon.